got my shirt off in this video because we're going to find out if I have gyno or not. And I do have gyno. I have gynecomastia from puberty. And what is gyno? What is gynecomastia? Gynecomastia is the development of male breast tissue, um, usually caused by excessive estrogen, prolactin, or both hormonal imbalance. Um, uh, disproportionately high estrog estrog estrogenic activity compared to androgenic activity, particularly in the nipples. So you get development of breast tissue. Um, I have uh, gyno left over from puberty. I know how embarrassing it can be to have gyno, especially as a teenager. Because when I was a teenager, I had fucking C cups. And um, yeah, there was one time I was at a pool, like nighttime pool party. And um, I went to jump into the pool and midair somebody went, nice tits. And I just like sunk into the water and I just wanted to die. Just stay down there forever. But after like 40 seconds, I had to face everybody. <laughs> So um, I know it sucks to have gyno, but a lot of people are posting on Reddit. Am I fat or do I have gyno? Most of the time, you can't tell just by looking at it. You have to touch it. You have to feel it. Now, how do you tell if you're developing gyno? If you're on SARM, steroids, or puberty, etc. cetera. Um, usually, with past 20, you're not just going to develop gyno out of nowhere unless you suddenly have a pituitary issue. Um, you're going to feel sensations. Spicy nips is what they call it, especially on steroid forms. It's where you feel uh, tingling, uh, sensitivity to pressure, um, a feeling of like kind of irritation or hot sensation around your nipples. Now, sensational gyno doesn't always lead into full-blown development of male breast tissue. Like when I first got on testosterone replacement therapy, my I had sensational gyno, the tingling, the spicy nip feeling, a little bit of sensitivity to pressure. Um, ooh, spooky. Uh, that went away with time and I knew it would and I was monitoring to make sure there wasn't any excessive like I noticed any growth and I didn't um, I, I still have lumps under my nipple from puber pubertal gyno, but they did go down before they solidified I can't use drugs um, like raloxifene right now to reduce gyno like you could if it was just developing um, I the only choice for me right now is surgery because I don't have a hormonal imbalance the gyno I have is left over from puberty okay that's enough rambling and and information ahead of time. If you feel like you're developing gyno, what you need to do is monitor yourself. And you monitor yourself the same way I would check my my gyno. And that's by looking for lumps under your nipples. So you take your fingers like this. You see my nipples now. Click off if you don't want to. Okay. Ugh, sorry, I'm like a fucking grandma with a phone. My bad. Take your fingers like this. Go sideways pinch just under the nipple there if you are just developing gyno not the sensational but like legit breast tissue you'll feel a pea-sized lump underneath there and it should be very distinct so you're not questioning is that a lump i don't know uh, i don't know you'll feel a lump under there right under your nipple okay so you feel sideways and then you can also feel vertically because sometimes the diameter is different from uh different angles i can distinctly i know you can't really tell um, but I can distinctly feel a lump underneath there about, it basically feels like a water chestnut, which is a fucking disgusting comparison, but it feels like a water chestnut. A little bit smaller underneath this nipple, but you just pinch from the top, feel for a lump, pinch for the side, feel for a lump. If you don't have a lump, don't fucking worry about it. If you are just developing like a pea-sized lump and you have the sensational gyno on top of that, you got to change something. If you're running steroids, SARMs, whatever. You can use drugs like raloxifene to try to reduce the development of breast tissue. Even Nolvidex will block the estrogen receptor um, in the breast. It's particularly specific to the estrogen receptor in the breast. Not necessarily with the hypothalamus as well, but there are drugs to reduce it if it's developing. Um, but if you're on SARMs or steroids or whatever, you can, you can do that. Or you can implement an AI to make sure that your estrogen is controlled you can implement capergoline to make sure your prolactin is controlled. I'd recommend only using those after grabbing labs so you can track the values over time. Uh, because usually, again, if you're on steroids or SARMs and you're running in clomiphene with SARM or clomid with a SARM or something like that, and you're developing gyno, either abort, um, use an abort, you know, gynocomastia aborting drug like raloxifene, um, or introduce an aromatase inhibitor uh, after you grab labs, okay? Because you don't want to smash your estrogen down too low and you want to track it over time. Um, 
Otherwise, if you're like me and you're like, shit, I have gyno from fucking puberty. I didn't even realize like that was gyno. I thought I was just fat. Uh, you're too late and you need to get surgery, which can cost a few thousand dollars. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it takes for insurance to cover it. Anyway, I'm not going to go on any longer. That's how you tell if you have gyno. Just feel for it. Okay. There will be a distinct lump. You're not, you're not touching it like this. Okay. You're pinching from the top, just underneath, underneath it, not the nipple. Unless you want to get a little hot and heavy, but you're pinching just underneath the nipple from both angles, from the side and the top, because they can feel, you know, the di diameter can be different from both sides. And then you check the other side. If there's no lump, don't worry about it. Wait it out. Monitor it. If you start developing a lump, use drugs, abort, use the drugs to reduce gyno, abort your steroid or SARM cycle, use estrogen management, um, VNAI, uh, or uh, a CIRM, like I mentioned previously. Um, yeah. That's how you tell if you have gyno. This will not stop the onslaught of posts of gyno or fat question mark, but uh, I thought I'd try to do my part considering I know what it's like to have gyno and what it, yeah, that's it. Okay, I know this isn't gonna blow up my channel, so sorry if I just fucking showed you my nipples for no reason, but if you watch for this long and you're not worried about gyno, what the fuck are you doing? All right, talk to you later, bye.